Hi everyone. Normally I do an active recovery session on a Sunday, but because of the state of the world, I'm sure a lot of you are sitting around a lot. Okay, there's a lot of TV being consumed um, and a lot of devices being used. And hardly anyone is doing training because all of our training facilities have been closed down. A few of you are probably doing some outdoor activities, which is great. Keep moving as much as you can. Um, but if you need some ideas, I'm going to do a short session right now, which is going to open up your hips and turn your abs on. Because if you keep sitting down, the hips are going to get tight and your abs are going to turn into flabs. Okay, nobody wants that. So starting off on your back, we're going to do bridge first. So from bent knees, push down through your heels and lift the hips. And just do that a few times up and down to get the glutes going and fire up all the muscles on the back side of you. It's a really nice exercise that will open up the hips as well. I like to add in at the top some leg lifts as well. So try and push down through one foot as the other leg lifts up in the air. Once you've done an even number of those, place the hips back down onto the ground. There's a little bit of space between your feet. Stretch the arms out to the sides and then just some windscreen wipers with your legs. So side to side movement, warming up the hips, loosening up all that tissue on the front of your body that's sort of shortening while you're doing lots of sitting. Okay, from the windscreen wipers, Let's do some rotation. So laying on your side, we're gonna reach with one arm behind and try and stretch through the rib cage. And just do that a few times on each side. Try to breathe while you do this because you're moving the rib cage and if you don't breathe, okay, you hold your breath, you're keeping that area stiff and still. <sighs> Let's do five of those on the other side. So using the breath and stretching through your fingertips. I like that as well to really stretch out the arm lines. Especially the forearm muscles. If you've been using your phone a lot, okay? They can get tight because you keep typing on your phone or scrolling. Okay, from here, we've got to work on the abs. So let's take the legs out long, hands underneath your head. The first bit is just holding a crunch for 10 seconds. So try to keep your low back flat on the ground here. So think of a little blueberry underneath your back and you're trying to squash that blueberry with your back. 10 seconds straight down the middle and then we'll go 10 seconds lifting but twisting to the side. Hopefully you're getting a little bit of a shake like I am. Again, Think of the blueberry underneath your lower back and pushing that down into the ground. Whew. 10 seconds to the right. Push that blueberry down into the ground. Whether you're trying to make blueberry juice or blueberry pulp. Whew. You could repeat those. <sighs> but I'm going to do something else. Okay, from here, no equipment is required for this whole routine. We're just going to do some rotations. So take your knees wide, okay? Keep the hips still. Stretch your arms out to the sides and twist side to side. And really reach like you mean it. Okay, you're reaching back like your phone is back there and you can't quite grab it off the shelf, okay? Side to side, keeping the hips as still as you can. Maybe three, maybe five each side. And then we'll do some side bends. So we'll stretch out these sides here as well as switching them on. So it's a little bit of an ab workout. Hands underneath your head. Just lean down to the right as far as you can. And then contract that left hand side lift up. And then repeat that on the other side. So you're lengthening and strengthening at the same time. Try and keep these slow and controlled. Just to be careful of your back. 
And I'll just show you a side on view. Just make sure you're not sticking your butt out like this. Try and tuck the tailbone under. Use your glutes as you side bend, uh, as you go side to side, sorry. Okay, and then finally, we'll open up the hips with just a nice little lunge stretch or a bit of hip extension. So right knees on the ground, reach your arms up, and let's take the hips forward and down. And I, what I like to do here is lengthen and strengthen at the same time. So think about squeezing the feet towards each other. So keep that tissue active as you're lengthening it. So I'm squeezing my feet towards each other and I'm reaching my hips forward and down. So three each side, opening up the hips. for more exercise ideas, uh, for things that you can do at home with and without equipment. But uh, most of us are spending a lot of time at home and yeah, we'll need ideas to keep moving. So good luck with it all.